From the heart of Texas, this is Central Texas News Now. Here are the latest headlines from Central Texas News Now. I'm Dennis Turner. The death of a Marine Corps veteran who grew up in Central Texas leads to two arrests in New Mexico. Investigators found the body of 32-year-old Matthew Grudelay along a ditch bank this weekend. A medical examiner positively identified the Marine within hours. Grudelay's family last heard from him July 27th when he called his mother in Lorena, saying a New Mexico casino had asked him to leave. Within a day of the discovery, the Marines' remains, police arrested a man and woman for charging several hundred dollars worth of items on the man's credit card. Prosecutors say the man arrested in New Mexico, 37-year-old Francisco Gomez, will face a judge on murder and several other charges. And authorities in Navarro County say an alert neighbor helped find a missing child through the county's emergency alert system. We showed you how the system worked last January in this story from Central Texas News Now. Saturday night, Navarro County Emergency Management set out an alert for a missing three-year-old girl last seen in the Frost area along Highway 22. Bobby Vickery, who lives nearby, got the alert and found the girl about a mile from her last known whereabouts. Navarro County Sheriff Elmer Tanner says and other county leaders say the weekend incident shows why they put the notification system in to begin with. Now let's go check on our Central Texas weather forecast. And I'm meteorologist Josh Johns. We'll look at your updated 10-day forecast. Looks like the triple digits will hang on through at least Wednesday. And then we'll see some cooler air work in with some tropical moisture. That'll lead to a slight chance of rain Friday through Monday with temperatures staying below the triple digits as we start off the new week. The Central Texas News Now News app. Search KXXV in your app store.